What's up guys, ALMD back with another video and today we're talking about how news for the upcoming game LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is going to be coming very soon around this month and what to expect when that news does drop. Real quick, if you guys do enjoy LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga and want more information on it, please be sure to subscribe down below and we'll get right into the video. So the main reason that information is going to be coming soon, even though we don't have very much concrete evidence that it is going to be coming soon, is because of what normally happens around this time of the year, and that is E3. And of course, E3 was canceled this year because of the current uh, world situation. And the most recent way that we can find information from games is from the Summer Game Fest. And this is really how we're going to be getting our main in source of information for LEGO Star Wars of Skywalker Saga in the upcoming months, and mostly in June. Now, because June is such a big month for gaming and gaming developers showing off certain gameplays and different announcements for games, the schedule for June in the Summer Game Fest is packed. And the most likely time we're going to see information for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is at the Developer Showcase on June 22nd. And hopefully we're going to be able to find some concrete information that day. And hopefully that is the actual day that we get information. But that is the most likely case for us to get information, especially during this month of June, at June 22nd at the Developer Showcase. Now, that again, even though that is the most likely situation, it could not happen. However, there is news that is still going to be dropped at some point within this month, if not July at the latest, for the upcoming game. And what can we really expect from this announcement that TT Games is going to have uh, for the upcoming game? Because it's coming out later this year and they have to release certain gameplay and trailers and information on the game. And speaking of which, gameplay, I believe, is going to be the main thing that they show off at this event because we don't really have any concrete information or visuals besides the trailer that they released last year as to what exactly the game's going to look like and how it's really going to function. We know uh, ideas and how it's going to work and me certain mechanics of the game that I've reported on on my channel before, but um, we don't have exact visuals as to how it's exactly going to work because I'm sure there's going to be little tweaks and differences as to what we all think we know. So gameplay is definitely going to be number one. Uh, I believe that's the... If they were to show off one thing, that would be it. Uh, possibly another trailer. Uh, we did get that one trailer last year at E3, but it's very possible that we get another trailer, possibly showing off different aspects of the game. Again, stuff that we don't really know about. However, there is more than just parts of the game. There is other information outside of the game that needs to be known for certain audiences and people that are interested in buying the game. And one of the most important things is the pre-order details. Because there's definitely going to be different versions of the game that you can buy. There's going to be a digital edition, there's going to be a deluxe edition, and there's going to be a standard edition. And we've seen uh, you can get a steel bookcase of Han Solo being frozen in carbonite. That is one of the pre-order bonuses. But other than that... We don't have any idea on the different editions. We don't have any idea on what bonuses you're going to get with certain editions and how it's going to benefit you. If there's going to be some sort of early access or closed beta that you can get access to by pre-ordering. We don't know any of that right now. And I feel that is going to be necessary when they do demonstrate or have their announcement at the Summer Game Fest. That is going to be primary uh, information for different audiences and people that are interested in buying the game. And also, another piece of information that's very important for certain audiences and people interested in buying the game is whether or not the game is going to be available on the next-gen consoles. Obviously, we know it's going to be available on Steam, and it's going to be available for the Nintendo Switch, but as PS4 and Xbox One cycles come to a close, uh, everyone's going to be looking to buy the new PS5 and the Xbox Series X and progress technologically and get more advanced games and the new uh, gaming consoles that everyone wants. So people are going to want to know whether or not these games are on the next-gen consoles. Now, there is backwards compatibility on the new consoles, and you can play some older games, but people are going to want to play it faster with better loading times, better graphics. If they're not on the next-gen consoles, it's very possible that it could detract some people from buying it. Maybe people don't want to buy it. If it's on the next-gen consoles, people might want to buy it later in the year. Uh, it's definitely going to affect different aspe aspects of the audience and the community. 
Now, all these things that I'm mentioning are just beliefs of what I think are going to be at the reveal when TT Games finally gives us some more concrete information. And hopefully they really do. Hopefully this June 22nd is the day, if not earlier, to where we get more information and more concrete information about the game that I can report it to you guys. But as of right now, we have to speculate and work with what we have, work with certain reports that we get from the devs, and hopefully we get the information on June 22nd or earlier. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys want more LEGO Star Wars content, please be sure to subscribe and hit notifications down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.